Okay, this is the modification to a four by six foot trailer, as you can see in this uh, in this picture right here, four by six foot trailer. Um, mine or this model did not have the lift gate. We it is a tilt bed, and we added a gate to it. So the modifications that we done is we extended the front, as you can see. And um, basically, in extending that front, we just took L brackets and welded the L brackets on, extended them out, used the L bracket in the front to actually weld on, and we just put it at an angle so that we can weld on these bolt, or excuse me, bolt on these boards, as you can see, bolts right there. So, bolted on the boards, and by doing the extension, the tire basically sits right in the groove perfect for you so when you load it you actually bring the weight a lot of people have problem with distribution of weight on these this brings the weight forward on the tongue um, at the same time it gives me a little extra access back here for gas cans and cooler if i need to do that um, just added these wooden sideboards as you can see to give me a little bit of extra height just in case but um, basically, I just strap this thing down one time. I run two hooks inside it there, as you can see, and bring it to the brace here, as you can see, and then just ratchet it down. And once you strap it that one time, you don't have to worry about it. It's uh, not going anywhere. Obviously, it's pulled to the front. Brakes locked on the ATV as well. So that's the extension portion. And then for the tailgate, since this was a tilt bed, I would put a gas can on and I would put uh, cooler, things like that back here and have to strap them down and I would worry about them. So in saying that, I asked him actually to just get a normal piece of uh, piece of angle iron or L, L bracket and we were gonna run it across from side to side. But he actually in his shop found this piece of metal which worked out perfect so that I could put lights in it because of course everybody knocks the lights off on these trailers as well and breaks them if you don't pay close attention. So basically we just uh, cut out the boards as you can see right here. Let's see if I can get a better angle. We cut the board out as you can see right there to slip this top rail into and uh, just cut us two holes right in the outside edges. And basically the pins drop down through the holes and hook and you've got it pinned on so it's not coming off it does help in the sense of reassurance for me to make sure nothing comes off the back end including the ATV but any coolers or anything else that I might load on the back gas cans that type of stuff and then for the lights basically just like any other trailer light um, just wired it up to the inside and run a wire over brought the wire through the pipe like from the factory we went ahead and used standard outdoor um, electrical cord or drop cord for this wiring method because that shield helps protect it all under the trailer and then once we brought it over and ran it right here we just did a basic scenario to a uh, trailer plug and this plug basically runs over to the light as you see to the back of the light and all you have to do is just grab this and unplug it pull this out and your tailgate comes right off and you're good to go throw the tailgate back on put your pins back in plug this right back up and you're good to go so that's it that's the modifications on the four by six enclosed or excuse me four by six utility trailer to allow the weight distribution to be to the front so that it pulls correctly and it doesn't bounce and bob up and down on on your ball up here that's what i was having is it was just chicka 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 bouncing constantly on that ball and that would scare me because i was afraid at some point it would come up off of that ball and then also at the same time um you know the swerving behind you so this modification extension to the front end and again that's all we done as you can see is just weld the L brackets and then of course you'll see a little bit of a reinforcement in the center there that reinforces